Hello friends and welcome. I'm Sarah Liz and I am back with another emergency card kit. If you're new to my channel, an emergency card is one where we make the cards ahead of time, but we leave the sentiments off. That way, when an occasion arises, we can choose the card design that best fits the recipient and the sentiment that best fits the occasion. To help you with this, I release free printable kits full of sentiments and card sketches that use sentiments in three key interchangeable sizes so you can stock your stash with cards and be prepared for any card giving emergency. Let's take a look at the kit. I'm calling this the Swift Encouragement Kit. It's absolutely inspired by Taylor Swift. I am not a Swifty, and if you're not a Swifty, I promise I think there are things in here that you're really gonna like and be able to use. So on this first page, these are Taylor Swift quotes for the most part. This is our place, we make the rules. You're beautiful, every little piece. I always have to be writing. And I'm a writer, like that was my first like love for art. So this just makes me really happy. Love is the one wild card. Just be yourself, there is no one better. Shake it off. It's hard to fight when the fight ain't fair. You are not the opinion of someone who does not know you. It is possible for a woman to be a romantic, but also to be single and to be happy. Never believe anyone who tells you you don't deserve what you want. If you never bleed, you're never gonna grow. I get nervous for everything, literally everything. And then this is sort of, this is from me. It's not a Taylor Swift quote, but in the things that I've read, she has sort of similar sentiments. You are only nervous because it matters. I have sort of a bizarre background of performance and competition. And somewhere along the way, a coach told me, um, you know, it's okay. Like, don't worry so much about being nervous because it would keep me up at night. The night before a competition, we would travel, we'd be gone all weekend. And she was like, you're only nervous because it matters to you. That's a good thing. If you're not nervous, then maybe you shouldn't be doing this anymore. So to me, it's not about calming the nerves. It's kind of about understanding them and understanding that that's kind of a superpower. If you're lucky enough to be different, never change. These are one and three quarter inch circles. And then that printed circle is just ever so slightly larger. For me, it helps me get my die or my punch centered. And then on the second page, they're the same sentiments and the same sizes, but I've removed that circle. So you can use a different size circle or just a different shape altogether. On this page, we have the same sentiments, but in rectangles. And I've switched up some of the fonts just to make them fit better. Uh, make sure that they look good. And then I've added happiness and confidence are the prettiest things you can wear. There are tick marks on this one. So you can cut this out using your trimmer. Even if you don't have any punches or dies, there's something in here for you. And then we have our card sketch. We're gonna make at least two cards today using this sketch. There are instructions on the bottom for cutting out sentiments. If there is a sentiment size that you wanna use, um, and we didn't do it in the video and you're wondering how that works. And then there is a link up at the top. So if you print this and download it, you can use that link to get back to this video. If you're looking for inspiration or instructions, there will be at least two videos for this kit. I've kind of gotten out of that habit. I used to do a kit release video and then I would do a stepped up video later on. Um, and so that's what we're gonna do with this one. I just, I couldn't quit making, <laughs> which is a good thing. So these three pages and the card sketch are available in the description box below the video. Click on more or show more to unpack that description box. And then down at the bottom, you will find a link to download this small condensed version of the kit. I'm gonna show you more pages, some of which are available for free, but just know, I know some of us aren't super techie. I've gotten lots of questions about Patreon. It's important to me to make at least the, the biggest parts of the kit. Um, available and easily accessible to everybody. Right next to the YouTube download in the description box, there will be a link to Patreon and then a link to the video that explains Patreon, the membership tiers, there's a free membership, and how to do some of the navigating and things like that. I get a lot of questions about it. Check the video, I've got chapters in there to help you. If you download this from Patreon, there are a couple of bonus pages. So I put our strip sentiments in Patreon this time. There's a new font over here. I've replaced the one that was here and I don't know that I'm gonna do this permanently or this font permanently. So let me know what you think. Um, but these are both kind of whimsical. Then we have two more fonts. 
this one, I've replaced our scripty font, which is sort of an elegant scripty with a more whimsical scripty that I thought fit really well with the tone of this kit and then our classic serif font. These are about a quarter inch when you cut them out using the tick marks. Then we have this page, which is a really for letting that sentiment sort of take front and center stage. Um, we have a couple of karmas. These are slightly different if you're using a scan and cut, this one is really helpful because I've connected the K and the A. My scan and cut sees that as a single object and so it will bubble cut around that. Where with this top one, they aren't connected. That's sort of naturally um, how the font looks and it separates them when it goes to cut them out. This one I actually made a little bit bigger. If you are a Saskateer or a Sassy Champion paid member, you have resizable sentiment. So that's how you can do that. I have mine printed with toner on my laser printer so I can foil these for more cards later. For sub sentiments, we have Karma is that guy on the Chiefs. Karma is a cat purring in my lap cause it loves me. Or I've taken those two lines and separated them if you want to not cut the sentiment altogether. Um, Karma is my boyfriend. Then we have Era in a couple of different fonts. Um, in your coffee era, in your graduation era, in your birthday era, your driving era, your shining era, your retirement era, in our Christmas era. And we're going to use that one today for sure. And then this one right here is a sub sentiment to go with this. This is an A2 panel. So when you're cutting, right, don't just like go in with your scissors and then you're sort of chopping into parts of your panel you didn't realize. Um, you can cut this sort of at four and a quarter and five and a half, and that will be a full panel. Happiness and confidence are the prettiest things you can wear. It's one of my favorite, favorite quotes from Taylor Swift. Um, I just really love how positive and encouraging she is for women and young women in particular. And so, um, yeah, uh, I wanted that for sure as a sentiment that everybody could get. Also free on Patreon, we have these two patterned backgrounds with some of our sentiments. So this is in your birthday era printed on our background here. We're gonna use this probably in video number two and then this one also in video number two, your beautiful every little piece. So those first eight pages are available completely for free and the next 10 are available at different tiers of paid membership. Right along with the download, all the links are there for Patreon, they're quick links. So if you are a sassy friend, which is that $2 tier, then you can get two pages of A2 panels. Long live all the magic we made. You can make the whole place shimmer in your birthday era. You can also cut these out as A2 panels. They're centered on the panel for you. These are slightly above center, um, but those I love a whole lot. Then we have four more A2 panels, and these are actually flip-flop. They just printed better on my printer, right? There's a section that won't print on the sides. So if you're lucky enough to be different, never change. You're beautiful, every little piece. Just be yourself, there is no one better. Next to the YouTube download and the link into Patreon in general, are quick links into the paid level tiers, right? There's a limited time access folder and then one uh, for Sassy Friends, Saskateers, Sassy Champions. I've gotten a lot of emails where people were saying the links weren't working for them. Make sure that you are logged into Patreon. It will log you out after a little bit of time. Um, and so you might be at that tier and be allowed access but when you use that quick link, sometimes it doesn't prompt you to log in first. So double check that if you're having problems. Those two pages will be in that limited time access folder. And then they will also be for our sassy friends. That's that $5 tier immediately in the sort of bonus content for your tier. There are two more pages of bonus content for your tier. We have our white text on black in those same four fonts that we had before. I've gotten a lot of feedback. People really like the white text on black. I love it when you guys let me know what you like, but also let me know if there's stuff that you aren't using or you find like that font is too small for you or anything like that. I wanna know, right? I'm always trying new things. For our Saskateers and Sassy Champions, that's the 12 and $25 tiers. There are six pages of digital paper. So we have this one that has this lovely like 
watercolor pink. Then we get that same print in three more colors and I desperately need to change the pink toner in my printer <laughs> because this should look a little more purple than it does. So just a heads up, it's a little more purple, um, but I didn't want to reprint and then try to get all the way back down the stairs on crutches. So I'm sure you'll forgive me. Then we have a very vibrant, almost teal blue, and then a slightly more muted blue. And of course we need some disco ball backgrounds. <laughs> I just, I don't know why they make me so happy. So this one is a little like purpler, a little darker here. And then this is a slightly different version of it. And part of what's different is that I have moved the sort of um, beginning point of light to be more in frame. And so actually what you might do, cause we're gonna use some disco balls, friends. You might put it right here. Um, as always, I try to set these up. So you've got one that's oriented for portrait and then one that is oriented for landscape. All right, let's make some cards. So my black cardstock is four and a quarter by five and a half, but then my pattern paper, I'm actually not using the sketch. I'm gonna use the alternative measurements that are over on the right hand side. So that pattern paper is four by five and a quarter. Mine is fairly simple, but this is a great card for using pattern paper that's like a hero paper, something you really want to show off. I have two strips of cardstock, black and pink, that I've temporarily adhered together. The black one's an inch and a half. The pink is an inch and a quarter, and I'm using a banner punch because I am terrible at cutting banners. Um, but if you're good at just cutting a banner freehand, then do that. I also then took this into my trimmer and cut about a quarter inch off of each end because I didn't want that steep of a cut into it, but this marked the center point for me because that inch and a half is a right in the groove. There's three different grooves in the punch, and so I knew it would be centered. Like, I'm that bad at this. If you can do this freehand, you just mark the center point with your pencil about the same distance in on both sides, and do what I just did there and cut from the corner to that center point. I'm gonna go ahead and cut this pink piece down. I actually just need two little flag pieces to poke out of either side. Uh, and I know that they're gonna nest really well because I cut them at the same time. I'm doing it slightly different than the sketch, but that just gives you more variation, different ways to kind of look at it. It's longer than I need it. I'm gonna cut the center out of the black part too. So I didn't bother to tell you how long those strips were. Long enough, you know, I'm just hiding it behind my circle. In this sketch, I have a two and a quarter inch circle. This scallop circle is slightly bigger. It's two and a half inches, um, but because it's scallop, it, it feels visually a little smaller. I cut mine out of some black glitter cardstock that I got in the Spellbinders warehouse sale on super, super, super sale. And in fact, it's on sale. Again, it's like five bucks for a big old pack of it. Their early Black Friday sale started Thursday. So I'll have a link to that sale below. I will be coming out with, um, I think, a video and definitely a post organizing that sale for you, making it easier to shop. I have added a two inch circle on there that I also cut from my emergency card essentials die set number one, both the scallop and that sort of pink circle. And then I'm using my one and three quarter inch punch to cut out a sentiment from that first page of circle sentiments. I just wiggle it till I can't see the line anymore. And it says, just be yourself. There is no one better. I love this for quick, quick, quick and easy holiday cards. I think this would be super fun. Maybe a photo of the family on the inside. Card number two is right in my happy place. This is the starshine background from Spellbinders. I'm gonna try to center it on this A2 panel. Um, spoiler alert, it's not centered. <laughs> we'll fix it later. Uh, but we are just pulling all of my favorite supplies from the last like year, year and a half and gonna make a card that mixes and matches them in new ways. So you can see how beautiful that pierced detail is and the background. Um, and I've just trimmed off the edges so that later on we'll mat it so that it is a full A2. Um, but you could probably leave it like this. It's maybe an eighth of an inch smaller than it was before. And then I've layered up some white glitter cardstock at three and a half by four and three quarter. 
and sort of a funky blue metallic cardstock that's three and five eighths by four and seven eighths. These are some disco balls. They are press plates for your better press, but I hot foiled them on some matte silver cardstock. And I'll show you that whole process in the video number two. But this one, this is some really thin glitter cardstock. It's very plasticky, if you will, from scrapbook.com. And I use the disco ball dies and stays on ink. And I press the ink into the glitter paper. Those turned out beautiful. These are the whimsical winter critters. And I'm gonna steal the earmuffs and we're gonna make them look like headphones. And then we're gonna take a face from Emergency Card Essentials die set number one. By the way, if you are hoping to get those dies before Christmas, they are selling out. Scrapbook.com has sold out. Um, Trinity Stamps is out of set number two, but they have set number one. Simon Says Stamp still has both sets in stock. Uh, I talked to Tanisa. She's trying to get them restocked before Christmas, but we're not sure. So if that's something you were hoping to pick up, I would pick them up quickly. I'll have links to them below. This first die set is the one that has all the dies that cut out the sentiments and then some really great card layouts. And then the second set has more layout pieces and a pop-up. I love in set number one um, that there are five faces and I am adding some little sort of eyes with eyelashes and a little mouth onto my disco ball. And I, I love that we have headphones and they fit perfectly on here. It's from a Nicole Spore collection where there were just tons of like round ornamenty critters and things. So, so cute. For the word era, I'm using the Joyful Alphabet from scrapbook.com. Only some of the letters come in this bigger size. They have certain words you can spell out. Hooray, hello, era. <laughs> And then you get the full alphabet and the smaller size. They all come together in one set. I'm also using the Christmas tree from the Christmas wreath add-on. This is a go-to set for me during the holidays. If you did the Stress-Free Card Maker Summit, that's the die set that I used. Hey friends, future Sarah here. I went to cut my sentiment for this card and realized the sentiment I wanted didn't actually exist. Like I had already filmed the entire walkthrough of the kit and I was like, Oh man. <laughs> so I stopped yesterday and then went and made two more pages. I also have, I think, an SVG file for you. So I want to show you what's here. I want this card to say in our Christmas era. I actually went in my Christmas era and put it right here, but I wanted it white text on black and I wanted this sort of loopy whimsical font. So I did a bunch of karma and era sentiments. Some of these overlap the other page, but those sentiments are a little bigger. These are our standard quarter inch. So karma is that guy on the chiefs. Is a cat purring in my lap because it loves me? Is my boyfriend. In your coffee era, in your graduation era, birthday, driving, retirement, teacher, Christmas, mama, fearless, Disney, teacher, crafty. I'm probably in my crafty era to, for the rest of my life, till I die. Um, in my merry era, in our Christmas era and in my Christmas era and then in my best era yet. And I put it on the same line, but sort of separated it so you could cut those apart and use them sort of on either side of an era with just your word dies, right? Your letter dies. Um, or I have attempted, attempted an SVG file. I have a scan and cut. I'm very comfortable making files that I can cut on my machine. Um, I have attempted to convert that file to an SVG that I can share that can be used on a Cricut or a Silhouette or whatever you have, but I don't know if I did it right. So if it doesn't work, don't come at me, um, but help me, please. So I'm gonna leave comments open for the post on Patreon. I don't always do that just because I wanna make sure if, if we're commenting that I can get to them and reply to them. Um, I wanna know, does that SVG file work? And or if you know how to convert the FCM brother scan and cut files to a shareable SVG file. Um, how do you like to do that? Obviously free would be great, but I think I might have to pay for software if this is something that I'm gonna do a lot and it's certainly sort of uh, on my mind. Anyway, I have these sentiments in white text on black and then I have the same ones 
in black text on white. This one's blue. Yours will not be blue, I promise. We have that loopy, whimsical font, our classic serif font. And then this one we usually have um, on the first page of our strip sentiments. And I brought that one back in. I thought it just really fit, I mean, kind of with, with these dies, uh, but it's, it's whimsical, it's fun, it's playful, and I like that about it. I was trying to figure out what download to put these in. Um, and it was my son Malcolm's birthday this week. He turned 10. You guys, my oldest is 10 and I'm like losing my mind. Anyway, he was like, mom, aren't they free? They should be free. So, so yes. And I think these pages really kind of go with this one anyway. So the two pages of strip sentiments for Karma and Era and the SVG file will all be free in Patreon. Okay. So when this post goes live on Patreon. If you have your notifications turned on, it will get emailed to you with all the links. And then I will do my best to try to pin it to the top of Patreon. I don't know why their pinning um, functionality doesn't always work really well. So my goal is always to have the most recent download uh, pinned to the top of Patreon. Okay, let's finish this card. So I'm going to take our strip sentiments that are white text on black, and I'm trimming out the sentiment so I can see the tick marks on both the left and the right. And then I can just line up those tick marks in my trimmer and I know that I will get them straight, especially when I'm working with a new font. That is super helpful. I'm not great at eyeballing it. So here's my little sentiment in my Christmas and I'm trimming off either side. I sort of begin by using the inside of the finger guard to make sure the margins are even. And then I sometimes will trim off a little more depending on uh, kind of just how I'm feeling that day. I trimmed off more today. I'm going around the outside edge with a black alcohol marker. You could use any black marker, um, but I find, especially with toner, it's a little plasticky. I like the alcohol marker because it dries faster and I'm less likely to smear that marker somewhere else on my project. I decided while I was sleeping last night that I would actually cut another set of the letters to go behind my era because that metallic cardstock, I've had that for probably 10 years. I don't know where it came from, um, but it's quite thin. And I wanted it to be just a little sturdier as I add it onto my card. I knew I would need plenty of glue since that glitter cardstock, it's like a no shed glitter, is a specialty sort of plasticky, almost non-porous surface on the one side. So we'll stack all those up and then I'm putting those kind of all the way towards the bottom. The sketch was the inspiration for our circle at the top. And then the sort of flags on the circle were the inspiration for the headphones. I wanted something coming from outside of the circle, but you do have just a giant open space at the bottom of this card. You could instead have your focal image at the top and then put just a rectangle sentiment at the bottom instead of doing like a strip sentiment and then the word. And then I had to add a Christmas tree. I had to, <laughs> I added a little foam there just to level everything out. I left the foam off the very bottom because that overlaps era, which is too thick. Um, but then our disco ball is pretty thin as well. I'm gonna add some removable adhesive onto our little strip sentiment. And we have this adorable in my Christmas era I will mostly off camera here add 18 million tiny little gems, adhesive back gems, because I never know where they go. And then there is also a star you can put on top of this tree. And I just felt like he was a little naked until we added the star. So here I am going to add this just to a black card panel and I'm putting some glue on the back and you'll see I get just the thinnest little border all the way around. I could have skipped it. I'm not sure anybody would notice the difference in size. Um, and then I'm gonna leave it like this. I'm kind of fully stocked on cards right now and doing just the card panel saves me some space and storage. And that finishes card number two. It has such shine. That tree is blue glossy cardstock and I love that too. All of the things here. All right, my friends, those are our two card projects for today. One that's pretty simple and just follows the sketch. And then another one where we use the sketch really as a jumping off point. I would love to know which of these two is your favorite. If you are interested in the free printable sentiments, the card sketch, or any of the bonus content, go ahead and click on more or show more beneath the video and that will unpack that description box. 
In there, there's tons of helpful resources. I have four or five exclusive coupon codes for you. Those are kind of right up at the top. You can save those as Black Friday is coming up. Stack that on top of other discounts. Then I've listed all of the supplies from this video. And then towards the bottom, you'll find a link to download the circle sentiments, rectangle sentiments, and the card sketch. If you're not super techie, it's a really quick and easy way um, to get the free kit. If you want the upgraded kit, all of that stuff is over on Patreon. I have a free membership option. So I will have a link to my Patreon, just to the homepage, and then a link to the video that is a tutorial walking you through what is Patreon and how does it work. There will also be a link directly to the Patreon post that includes this video and the extra pages. So you get your two pages of strip sentiments, the karma and era sentiments, the happiness and confidence, the two backgrounds with sentiments on them, and then all of the things that Malcolm told me should also be free, right? So then we have all of our sub sentiments for karma and era, white text on black, black text on white, and then the SVG file. Fingers crossed, friends. I hope it works. I don't have a great way to test it because I only have the one machine. For all of my paid Patreon members, First, a huge, huge, enormous thank you. I am overwhelmed by the number of you who have jumped aboard the paid membership tiers. There are quick links to all your folders right there next to the download. Make sure you are logged into Patreon, right? If your link isn't working or it's telling you that you owe money, but you know you're a paid member, it probably logged you out. All right. I hope these cards are inspiring for you. I will have a stepped up version of this kit hopefully next week for you. Until then, thank you so much for spending your time with me and I will see you next time.